Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. A question that I get quite a bit on my videos where I show my characters uh, gear like this is how am I able to masterwork or fully upgrade all of my weapons and armor? And the short answer is, is because I have an absolute ton of upgrade materials because I play the right activities. So that's what I want to share with you guys in this video. Maybe you need a reminder, maybe you don't know where to get them from, maybe you're new, maybe you're coming back, I don't know. Hopefully this video helps you though. We're going to be showing how to get enhancement cores, upgrade modules, enhancement prisms, and ascendant shards and the best ways that you can farm them. Check down in the comment section below and look at the pinned comment. I will have timestamps for each one of the materials if you don't want to set through them all. Let's go ahead and get started. So starting with enhancement cores, let's go ahead and get the obvious ones out of the way. You can farm Banshee Bounties, you can get them from ranking up your Season Pass, and you can also purchase enhancement cores directly from Spider, although I would not recommend this unless you have an absolute ton of Legendary Shards. As far as actual farming options go, you can get them from doing the 750 as well as the 920 Nightfalls as a random potential drop at the end of the activity. You will also get enhancement cores from dismantling fully masterworked gear, whether it be weapons or armor. Weapons will grant 7 cores and armor will grant 6. A really good farm for these fully masterworked pieces of gear is going to be killing the Pit of Heresy boss each week on all three characters. You're guaranteed a fully masterworked piece of Dreambane armor and you can get one on each character each week. So three in total, dismantled for 18 enhancement cores. Another really good way to stockpile a ton of cores is going to be via the clan reward system. Assuming your clan is a high enough rank, you will be able to get 7 enhancement cores each time you complete the weekly clan XP challenge. Multiply that times 3 characters and you got yourself 21 enhancement cores for free each week. Upgrade modules will primarily be coming from Banshee44. Completing both of his weekly bounties on all three characters will net you six upgrade modules for free, and you can also purchase them directly for a reasonable cost. Uh, I'm not opposed to purchasing these, it is a decent cost. You can also purchase a concentrated matter gem from the Eververse store for 200 Bright Dust, and consuming one will give a chance of getting an upgrade module from defeating a boss, and the effect lasts until you get an upgrade module. So essentially, you're buying an upgrade module for 200 Bright Dust. And lastly, you will get a few upgrade modules from leveling up your Season Pass. Enhancement Prisms are available for purchase from Banshee44, but I do not recommend buying these unless you just need one more or something like that to upgrade your armor because these are very expensive and they are farmable for free. Enhancement Prisms can drop from the 920 Nightfall as a rare chance. From a slightly greater chance at the 950 Nightfall, you'll get them more often than you won't, and pretty much a guaranteed chance from the 980 Nightfall. I honestly don't think I've ever done a 980 Nightfall and didn't get at least two Enhancement Prisms. I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed drop. You will also get some Enhancement Prisms from ranking up your Season Pass, and you will also get six Enhancement Prisms from dismantling a fully masterworked piece of gear. This makes doing the Pit of Heresy boss each week on all three characters very viable, since killing that boss is guaranteed to give you a fully masterworked piece of Dreambane armor. Dismantle that for 6 prisms and do it on all 3 characters, you got yourself 18 free prisms a week. Guaranteed. You can purchase Ascendant Shards from Banshee44 for a relatively reasonable price. I say that because 100 planetary materials is not that much. If you already have 10 Enhancement Prisms, this is pretty much what they're used for. And 50,000 Glimmer is a steep price, but Glimmer is easy enough to come by, so it's not that big of a deal. I definitely wouldn't recommend buying 10 Prisms from him with the intention of buying an Ascendant Shard after you purchased all 10 because that is a ridiculous cost. You will get a few Ascendant Shards from ranking up your Season Pass. But if you really want some Ascendant Shards, you're going to have to go and farm some 980 Ordeal Nightfalls. There is no cap to how many of these that you get. You will be guaranteed 
I'm pretty sure, some enhancement prisms each time you complete it, as well as a very good chance of getting an exotic armor piece. And then, of course, there is the chance of Ascendant Shards. To my knowledge, the 950, 920, and 750 variants of the Ordeal Nightfalls cannot drop Ascendant Shards. I have personally only seen them drop from the Master Nightfalls. And they do drop relatively frequently. Every time I do, say, one or two Ordeal Nightfalls, I typically get one Ascendant Shard. So, if you want some Ascendant Shards, this is where you get them. A few notes that I want to leave you guys with. You can only carry a max of 10 Ascendant Shards in your inventory. Enhancement cores stack up to 999 before they roll over into a new stack. Enhancement prisms cap at 50 in your inventory and upgrade modules also cap at 25. If you reach your inventory limit, however, those items will start rolling over into your Postmaster and it allows you to carry an extra 10 Ascendant Shards on each character, an extra 50 Enhancement Prisms on each character, and an extra 25 Upgrade Modules on each character. So what this essentially means is that the caps in your actual inventory only represents 25% of those materials that you can actually have all together. And one final note that I want to leave you guys with is going back to the Ascendant Shards and the 980 Nightfalls. To get the Ascendant Shard to drop, I'm pretty sure that you're going to have to get a Platinum Reward uh, level in the Nightfall, which means that you need to kill every champion in there. It does not go by your score, you don't have to hit 100k, although in most Nightfalls, if they're 980 and you kill all the champions, you're going to break 100k easily. But it just goes by the champions. If you kill all the champions, then you unlock Platinum Rewards, and you have a much greater chance of getting the Ascendant Shard, getting more Prisms, as well as getting Exotics. Honestly, I cannot stress this enough. 980 Ordeal Nightfalls, the way that they are currently set up, is one of the most farmable and rewarding activities that Bungie has ever put out, honestly. I mean, it is an infinite farm for materials, for exotics, it's just all around great. If you don't have a fire team, there are so many different platforms for LFG, just Google LFG Destiny, go to the actual Bungie.net webpage and use the find a fire team feature. Like so many people are missing out on 980 Ordeal Nightfalls and I really want you guys to do them. They are great, they are fun, they are super rewarding and they will get you most of these materials. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. If I missed any sources that are obvious, drop them in the comment in the box below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.